another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching the vampire diaries this is episode 10 that's right double digits we're progressing really fast now into this season episode 10 of season 2 hopefully guys have been enjoying the season so far we have the first nine episodes of this season and the first full season already uploaded to the channel you can go back and enjoy before today's video and um yeah i just want to say happy mother's day to every single hard-working mother out there you know i'm sure that uh, all your kids are treating you well you know you don't have to do uh, any cleaning any washing any cooking surely you've been weighted hand and feet today and uh yeah you get treated like uh, a fantastic parent um that you thoroughly deserve so happy mother's day everybody hopefully you enjoyed today's episode uh to recap the last one it was crazy wasn't it we had a new warlock they was introduced we got luca and malcolm i think they said his dad was and they introduced themselves to bonner they must know that she's a witch because <clears throat> his dad mentioned something about salem witches to bonner and I'm sure they did not just drop that in as a random conversation. I think they said that witches come from Salem or something. So that was kind of like extending um, a bit of information about each other. She's getting closer to Jeremy, which is very good. You know, uh, I like Jeremy's being persistent. He's playing the long game. Uh, they're cute together. So hopefully they can progress. I would be all for Team Jeremy and Bonnie being a couple because... Um, both of them separately having a t uh, having a hard times, you know, with her, with grandma, and Jeremy with everything that's been going on. Literally, a whirlwind, and together they seem quite cute. So hopefully that can become a thing. She seems to be quite into Luca though, which was uh, I was pretty good about. <clears throat> We've got last we have we have a liar basically. He uh, he come back from the dead, didn't he? He went after Damon and Rose. He was in a, a coffee shop. He picked up some coins and he like threw them, but literally all the glass shatters, smashed everywhere. It looked epic, mate. Obviously, Rose was getting hit with the rays, um, and Damon ran over, grabbed her, and ran off, and he's comforting her. And uh, like someone mentioned on Patreon, I said, Damon, you know, it's stuff's going down when Damon's scared. And uh, Libba, she mentioned, she said, Damon might not have been scared. He might have been confused at how much he was actually caring for Rose and how much his character is actually progressing because in the past he's not even thought about anybody else and now he's taking control, you know. He's he's helped, he picked up, he ran, he's catching feelings and the way he does and it shows the evolving of his character, which is a fantastic point. It's amazing. His character is progressing lots. You know, we've got Catherine as well. She was telling Elena lots of different stories of what happened and how she turned and what Klaus is actually after. And it is a bloodline of the doppelganger from the uh, from the Petriova family. And that is the reason why he's after Catherine, um, sorry, he's after Elena. And and Catherine, she explained how she transitioned over, that she was getting chased in Bulgaria and it was from like 1460 or something. And uh, while he was on the hunt for her, she stabbed herself, rose bitter because she knew that Klaus was after her and she didn't want to make it look like she killed her. And Catherine turned that into her advantage, killed herself, transitioned into a vampire. So they no longer got human blood for Klaus. And that's what condemned Rose and um, her friend uh, for 500 years on the run pretty much because they were scared of what Klaus would do to him. So very smart from um, Catherine. She's always got an angle. She knows everything that she's doing. You don't know what she's saying. If it's true, you have to take it with a pinch of salt. And she's so smart. But she's getting inside Stephanie and Elena's head with all these little stories. And I don't know which one to believe. So I'm very excited to jump into today's episode. If you are too, please smash a like and a button. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for clicking on my video. Really, really do appreciate it. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. Oh, someone's there. She's got a diary out. We, we said that she wasn't writing in it much. See, she's got it there. She must have been telling the stories of what Catherine's been telling her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, check Alaric. He's ripped Alaric. Look at him. Uh, that's hilarious. Oh, what is this guy stealing? So I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I say it all the time, right? But it makes me laugh the way that Alaric's a teacher at school, right? But he's kind of like her friend at home, but he's also like Jenna's boyfriend. Do you know what I mean? He's literally all over. He's, he's hilarious, Alaric. I love him. Staying over a lot. Are you, are you sure it's okay? Seems like things are good. They're extremely good. Guy's stealing some possessions. Oh, I thought Damon or Stefan might have been outside seeing him coming out. We're here for the moonstone. You like tossing it over? I thought you liked it in here. Nice and that safe. That is true, isn't it? I was gonna get you. I've had time to reconsider. Meaning you're hungry. You get me out of here. You get the moonstone, and I'll disappear from Mystic Falls forever. Of course not. We just want the moonstone. According to Rose's friend Slater, there's a way to destroy the spell the Klaus wants to break. No spell, no doppelganger sacrifice. Or 
How do you guys even know this is gonna work? Do Bonnie just needs to find a way to release the seal long enough for us to get in. Is that before or after he kills everyone that I care about, including the two of you? Do you think she don't want to be saved because, like, they said, um, she thinks everyone else is going to die trying, if that makes sense. So, like, she's thinking, why, if, if people try and save me, more people are going to die. So just let it play out. So then you're like, no. Newish. Pass out sometimes. It's because you're trying to do too much on your own. You need help. Oh. From what? From nature. I'll show you. Watch. Let me see that bracelet. She's done that before, is she not? With her, with her grandma when he was down in the in the tomb and they, they worked together to open the door. Is that did not channel each other then? I don't get yeah. it. No, I know. It's, what are we doing? I, we're channeling. The personal items will act as time. <laughs> we're channeling. No, concentrate. Imagine being there and then sudden like a whirlwind come. <laughs> come on, eh? she's loving it. <laughs> oh, Javin's here. That weather, huh? <laughs> it's global warming, man. Go worry, man. Oh, oh no, man. I'm team Jeremy, not team Luca. So it wasn't nice to see you. <laughs> ah, he's got a little Justin Bieber haircut going as well here. Yeah, it's weird, huh? No, he's not. Oh, she's sticking up for him. Stefan told me your friend Slater obviously has more information about Klaus. Why are you coming to me with this? Because you owe me. One word from me and Damon and Stefan could have killed you for kidnapping me. How would you like to be able to walk during the daylight? I think I know a witch who's willing to do whatever it takes to help. Oh, mate. No matter how much Rose likes Damon in this current situation, mate, imagine running for 500 years and just living in the darkness. Like, the only thing that you would ever want to do is be able to walk around and live a normal life in the day, isn't it? Like, you literally imagine never being able to literally go outside properly. Like... Uh, she hasn't got any loyalty towards Damon. I know he's helping her and stuff, but she's only met him a few times. And this, whoa, this this is big. I'd probably take her up and see just... I'd go down the avenue anyway and see how it plays out for now. I've been dodging for days because I didn't know what to say to you. Don't worry about it, man. Yes, Tyler. I'm really sorry. How are you? I've been better. i got to get to class. Okay. Oh, man, I feel I feel sorry for both of them in uh, different ways. Do you know what you're gonna do? I have a plan. Well, Expand. <laughs> kind of private. And you're really gonna turn down my help? She's funny, Caroline, isn't she? I might. I took both you and your grams last time, and look what happened to her. I'm well aware of what happened. You wouldn't be underestimating her, would you? It's a plan. A little bit. If you got my ring, I could get in, get out, no spells necessary. Why are you even here? Maybe I can <laughs> help part of the team. Ah, oh, it's funny. Do you have anything that belongs to Catherine? Slater, it's Rose, open up! Not home, sorry. Mm-mm, no. <laughs> it's we not home, sorry, it's literally. Innit, get breaking in, you can literally snap the lock. There you go. Chains on the doors. I don't think he's gonna be much help. Innit, Elijah compelled him to kill himself, didn't he? Looks like whoever blew up the coffee shop found him and killed him for his information. Cut all them screens. What are you? Tempered glass. UV rays can't penetrate. And this has got to play a factor at some point. I don't know if I've said it in another episode when she first mentioned it, but I'm going to say it now, right? There's a few times now. Actually, it's twice. She said it two times, but it's back to back episodes where they've mentioned tempered glass, yeah, cannot penetrate through to the vampires. Now, Unless this is going to play a future factor further down the line, why did why did why are they dropping it in? Do you know what I mean? Like it's got to it's got to play some significance, I think, later on in the story. But it is good that she can stand there and look out the window. I used to just come here and watch the day. And there you go. Oh. Stay here. Oh, is that his girlfriend in the picture? <laughs> Ran over the things after I thought she was dead, but. What will this do? <laughs> I can turn the metal to ash. It'll incapacitate her for a minute or two. Was this bleeding again? I didn't know metal can turn to ash. Not really fair to be with someone and not really let them know who you are. Right over here. Do you he's got his own little There's agenda on the side? Old property. I know that this is the old Lockwood property. She knows because she was down there, won't you? She killed a couple of the police and when she saved Damon and that. <clears throat> I'm guessing this is where Mason was headed the night he turned. And these bolts and chains. 
I need new chains, but the bolts could still hold. Oh, see, I, I wouldn't. I, I would get new bolts. I would literally get new everything. I would not trust old, ancient, rusty stuff that's been in there for so long, especially if Mason was using it to chain himself up. I'd literally take no um, no shortcuts. I'd take every everything as uh, brand new, get it in, strong, sturdy, stable, just so that I didn't manage to escape because he doesn't know how strong he is yet, does he? What's this? They love journals, don't they? Everybody keeps one in this program. He chronicled everything. Well, does he say what happened? Oh, he filmed it. So we gotta get the torches. A lark state gun's in my trunk. Bonnie. Go ahead. What are you doing? I mean, you're not strong enough. I like how much he cares. You could get hurt. Hell, you know, could I. I'll be fine. Promise. Right, here, I got this, okay? Go get me, um... Go get me something to put this in. There, well, cute. He's defo robbing some, though. Said that, mate. I knew it. He's keeping a little stash if he ever needs it. She overreacting. Big time. <laughs> Our boyfriend just died. There's no such thing as overreacting. <laughs> hmm? She was only dating him long enough to see if he'd turn up. That's what I would do. <laughs> uh. I was hoping that he could point me towards a cloud. Are you seriously asking me that right now? I just saw my boyfriend with a stake through his heart. Not over the lane, is you are. Mate, I would say, look at that look on her face. She's thinking, mm, do you know who I am, mate? I'm Katrina. Like, that's what I would say. I would say, mate, I am a vampire and I can turn you if you want. That's what I would literally do. I would play into her and she's just told me that she wants to turn. Yeah, I would pretend I was Katrina. Surely she knows how she's heard of it before. What if I could convince Rose to turn you? Oh, she's using Rose instead. Someone's been here. The hard drive's completely wiped straight out. Away. Yeah, straight away, straight away on there. Kristen Stewart. God, was he obvious? Kristen Stewart, mate. Another Twilight dropping in banter, like literally. All leads to vampires. What about that one? Cody Webber. Exchanged dozens of emails about Elijah. Tell him that we're trying to send a message to Cloud. The doppelganger is alive and she's ready to surrender. Oh. I knew I recognized you. Get him a message, please. She been playing everyone. If Klaus knows that you're alive, he'll find you and he'll kill you. Oh, she's exactly what on. you wanted all along. No way, it's either man. me or my family. Do you know what, right? You can't really blame Elena in, in the way her intentions are straight, aren't they? So basically, it's either me or myself, you know. If it, if it was down to you in real life and you had to pick, you or your family, you know, you would pick yourself, you would. But most people would anyway. I'm not saying everybody, most people would. So she's doing a noble thing, but she's not even let any of the situations play out yet. Do you know, I, I would literally wait a little bit before putting my name out into the... You know, just throwing it out there that I'm alive because you see how strong Elijah is, and especially if someone bigger than badder than him's trying to trying to come after us, she, she hasn't got a chance. I would not put a name out yet. Cody is on his way, and he really wants to meet you. Yeah, oh, Jeremy, over. mate. I'm here for the moonstone. Yeah, yeah, the moonstone. Oh, go on, lads. Uh, yes, Jeremy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, Jeremy. I figured you'd say that. Oh, I can't find it. They said that she only goes down for a few minutes, didn't they? Oh, if he's going in there, she's going to get him. It's taking too long, mate. She's going to be behind him in a second. So... Oh, she's bit him. Oh, yes, son, mate. He's threw it out, though. Get in there. Sorry. Mate. Wow, Jeremy's been bit. That's mad, that. I I'm guessing she's not gonna. he's not going to die, though. I reckon that. What? Seeing as she's down there, in it, and she's rotting away... He, she could just use him as like an endless blood supply until he dies because surely he'll die eventually won't he but right now she'd just feed off him and just stay strong don't be angry with me why would you do <laughs> what you do? need to get to richmond immediately the hell is it the moonstone oh i guess i'm sorry i took some powder now that he's wearing his ring so no matter oh how he's got his ring kill him I'll just keep coming back for more. Ah, oh, she could literally just keep him for time. Give me your hand. All of our calm, Elijah is. He's sick. No. Oh, it's kind of like what Bonnie done. Vesmatos tribum. Nas. Guys, searching for him. Ah, oh, mate, imagine seeing that. I know exactly where she is. Oh man, this guy's sick. He's actually so good in it. So intimidating. Not really choice. It's gonna take me some time. How long? Just get me in there as soon as you can. Oh, he's gonna get stuck in there in there. Oh, she's channeling him. What's wrong? 
Oh, she's so good. Oh, smart girl. He taped his first transformation. Oh, that's mad. <laughs> Retractable cables. Wolfsbane. I diluted Wolfsbane with water to oh, weaken myself, my. but I could barely get it down without puking. I kept thinking I'd black out and not feel it, but I did. I I felt all of it. Uh, do you know what, right? Watching that, right? It makes you feel well tight and Mason. Like, literally, he wanted, Tyler, he wanted Tyler to stay away from it, didn't he? The whole time. Even when he, he got killed off Damon, he was saying, don't let Tyler, like, get this curse. You know, he knows the pain for it. And uh, to be honest, he seemed like a decent guy. It just makes me feel sorry for him even more. He's deaf was probably un unnecessary but it's Damon's Damon isn't it he takes anyone out he's in his way but uh, I do find I do kind of feel a bit tight on Mason after watching that how long is it we're three hours in <laughs> I can't go through that shut tell me I didn't like it out like this you called him I'm sorry Elena you said that you understood come on we're leaving no I said we're leaving I'm not going with you Who's going to save your life while you're out making decisions? You're not listening to me, Damon. I don't want to be saved. Right. I mean, I don't know if that was intentional, right? But I don't want to be saved was in a different tone. It, like, echoed. Um, I don't know if that makes any irrelevance whatsoever. But it, it was it was different. I don't know if it was meant to do that. Get your ass out the door before I throw you over my shoulder and carry you out. <laughs> Bonnie, no. You have to stop her. She's not strong enough. It's Bonnie Bennett. She's channeling me. Why would you let her do that? You told me to bond with her, so I bonded. Yo, check Bonnie, man. You Go gotta for stop it. her. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie. Bonnie. Well, I'm here. I'm not strong enough. Even with help. She can't do it. Oh, oh Stefan. You know? Look at the smirk on Catherine's face in it. She wanted that, like, literally. And now they're both trapped in there. She can literally mess with his head now, literally, for so long. Chat loads of stories to him, getting, pe like, bare paranoid about Damon and Elena and everything. He's literally just mess with him. I mean, who's strongest to get them out now? Maybe this Malcolm is, um, but that's mad. Unless more, more Warlock witches come in. A reason it's called a curse, Tyler. Unimaginable pain. I thought it would never end. He did say that the transformation speeds up over time. Why do you care? Right. You've never been close. Well, I mean, you got something to bond over I now, haven't you? Secrets you that you can't like express. To, like, you kind of need it. All that. I killed somebody. Oh, no, it was a bit tight, that one, it? she done well to only kill one, though, since she turned in a hospital. To happen to you. Oh, it's mad. I was driving home from work, and I, I just, I kind of found myself here. I miss you. Yes, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Me, first of all, right, what is Tyler doing here? Right, I'm not going to... If you was at your friend's house, yeah, and they got a knock on the door, yeah, and they went outside to speak to someone, you wouldn't trod along and open the front door while they're having a conversation with someone, would you? You just wouldn't do that. Like, literally, it's not even... I'm not even talking about this situation. What he's just done is rude, mate. Like, literally... Two people having a conversation, you're at someone else's house, you don't walk in knowing that they're there. That is literally so rude. And also, now he's going to give Mark the wrong thing. He's going to think that there, they've got something going on, yeah? When that's not even the case, Caroline likes him and she's just trying to help him out. Obviously, they're in a situation where they can't express what's going on. So when he's going to ask what's going on, she probably can't even tell him. It's going to make him even more paranoid. Tyler did not need to come to the door then, literally. Time to go. So, there's nothing here for you. Oh. You were dead for centuries now. <laughs> else would want to see her. Does anyone else know that you're here? No. Oh, he's he's fucking dead, mate. That is literally he flopped. Um, he's gonna kill him. Like, the, there's no reason, right? Elijah wants him for himself, mate. He, just, he don't want he don't want that Klaus knowing. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Really interesting. Do it. Fucking do it, mate. Go on, son. Go on. Oh. Oh. That would leave you well paranoid, wouldn't it? Like, imagine just seeing that and him just running away with no explanation whatsoever. You would literally be paranoid. However, I did have a little run-in with one of the brothers that killed me. Actually, I spared him. 
He died before he let anything happen to her. They both won. That's my Damon. Well, that's precisely what we need her to be. Safe. Why? What's changed, right, from the minute that this guy, Elijah, was introduced, right, when he wanted to take Elena away, and then, obviously, then after that, she did tell him about the Moonstone, and then, obviously, we've had all the situation that stemmed from there, Damon and Stefan killing him, he's coming by, he's killed them, he spared them the life. Do you reckon he wants to keep her safe because he wants to find this Moonstone? But that is fascinating. I don't need an escort to my room. I don't know. Between here and upstairs, there's still time for you to do something stupid. <laughs> Why did you have to get involved? Because I didn't Cash want you to get hurt. Yeah, go on, Jeremy. Don't act like this is one-sided, like... In it. Like I'm some kid that has a crush on his sister's friend. Go on, Jeremy. Okay. Come on, Bonnie. Disappointing me. Keep trying, Jezza, man. She's, she she wants it. I can see it in your eyes, Bonnie, that you want Jeremy. Like, you're doing it for Elena, but he's coming. He's coming for you. He's going to wear you down because he's a nice guy. Keep going, Jeremy. Why do you think he killed those two vampires and just let us go? In it. If I had a dollar for every time some evil vampire surprised me. Everyone else tries so hard to save me. You shouldn't question why I would try to save all of you. I mean, she's spitting some facts there, Dark but... Night, okay. What? Stefan. Stefan's in there, Damon. How could you let this happen? What are you talking about? I was too busy saving you from it. Me. How can you let this happen? No, 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 no. Don't go on at my Damon, mate. Like, literally, he's come and saved the day. He saved you from getting killed off them, off cold air. I mean, Elijah spared your lives, which we just found out he wants to keep you safe for now. But you, you walked into a bad situation and Damon saved you. So you should be respecting him. Damon, let go of me. Damon, let go of me. Of all the idiot plans, Stefan. <laughs> oh, I love these two. No matter what happens, we'll protect her. Promise. Fucking get in there, mate. I'm literally, what would you call it? Hardcore hashtag team deafen me. I literally love these two guys together. That right there was the biggest mistake you've ever made. Do you reckon that she's saying that because they're going to spend more time together, Damon and, and Elena, and she thinks that, you know, he's going to try to work his way in? Okay, so that's going to wrap up today's episode of me. Interesting one. Elena went on an absolute suicide mission, didn't she? She was using Rose to find that. She said she wanted to track down uh, some information. And then, obviously, she was there. She wanted to tell uh, Elijah or, or um, Klaus that she's alive. You know, now... That information going public, everybody was, is going to be after her. Uh, doppelganger, everybody wants it, you know. Even Elijah's name. Um, I know that the guys uh, are working for Klaus, but just Elijah name drop, everyone gets scared. So it's very fascinating. I'm interested to see if Elijah likes Klaus, because why would he not turn him over? Like, you would think that if you had the big guy and you come in and give a gift of something that they want, that you would get the benefits, you know. But... Maybe there's something going on between those two that we've not been told yet. But it is literally fascinating. Obviously, Stefan, he's gone down there. He's got stuck trying to save Jeremy. Uh, he managed to go in, get the stone thrower out. So, like, they're in possession of it. But, um, obviously, now, uh, Stefan's stuck inside with Catherine for God knows how long, you know. She's probably buzzing about that situation she can get inside his head she can plant seeds you know at the very end there she's just saying that Stefan it was one of the worst moves he could have made they're telling uh, Damon to to stay around Elena and keep her safe and uh, that's probably because she's probably hoping that Damon makes a move but I, you know what I'm right? loving Damon literally loving him like he didn't even try and make a move on Elena once I feel like he's progressing more from um from uh, the situation of wanting to be with her to be like a good friend and caring about his brother you know i'm literally team deafening all the way i love it like this all good together i love the chemistry between them chemistry between bonnie and jeremy is growing as well bonnie wants it she's rejected it right now and um jeremy look at him jumping in the way mate so because he feels sorry for her he don't want her to get hurt how cute is that she was channeling luca mate she was channeling luca it seems like obviously you put two uh witches and warlocks together you can uh and and what has enhanced your, your strength and your powers but it still didn't work sadly and she seemed pretty devastated to be honest she was saying like she's still not strong enough but the thing is like she said to luca earlier on she's an uber pretty much you know she's only getting used to her powers who who, who knows what she can get to we've seen her slowly progress from lighting her guessing where matchsticks are lighting one candle lighting a room getting the spell and the tomb with a gram grandma then she's going to do uh, tracking Elena down with blood. She's got ashes. She can um, throw at um, 
Catherine to knock her down. And you know, she is progressing, mate. She needs to look at her little steady steps that she's taking. Like, instead of trying to be disappointed that you can't do this big massive spell look at your progress you're literally getting so stronger so i'm with, i'm with um jeremy there like just just keep going like and jeremy's obviously tried to make a move she's rejected it but he's coming back mate our jazz is not giving up alaric was hilarious at the start he wasn't in the whole episode but at the very start him and jenna where he ran up in there <laughs> ran up half naked in the room and he walked out in front of each other that was hilarious but loads of fascinating stuff. Got the Moonstone now. Wonder if they're going to hide it um, or they're going to try and use it, destroy it themselves. We don't know. Uh, Elijah spared Elena's life. He said he wants to keep her safe um, for the time being. And he knows that Damon and Stefan will die uh, doing all he can to protect her. So he, he's happy with that. Um, he's killed the two, two, three vampires actually that come to take her to Koda. So he's got his own agenda um, behind him, and uh, I'm fascinated to find out what it, that is because he's actually a sick character, mate. So intimidating. So I can't wait between him, Klaus, mate. Get him and Klaus on that side. Damon and Stefan on that side. Go at it, mate. It'd be so good. And Tyler as well. Um, he's transitioning. Uh, pretty much. He's reading. He's seen Mason. Feel really tight for Mason. Actually, he documented his first transition. Tyler's crapping it now. Matt come to tell. Um, Caroline that he loves her and um, Tyler did not have to come to the door I say it was really rude me I personally think it is like he was at someone else's house as a guest and he come to the door while he was talking that I mean I don't know what he's playing out there but you guys might have a different opinion on that but that is going to wrap up today's episode if you did enjoy it please smash a like and a button it really helps out the channel subscribe if you're new thanks for clicking on my video I really, really do appreciate it happy Mother's Day again to every single person that's celebrating it and as always I'll catch you in the next video cheers guys